<laughs> the vlog's here. Good timing, hello. Hi. <laughs> I hope this is good content for you, the vlog. <laughs> I hope you get something good out of this. No, I'm not a writer. Okay. All right, guys. I've seen a lot of questions about Maddie. I don't really want to talk about Maddie. Um, she is the one who decided to make it public. I never had any intentions to make anything public. Um, I don't want to talk about it. So, apparently she's given you everything you need. You guys can uh, ask her, I suppose. Because I just, I'm not interested in hashing things out over you now. It's boring, it's old. I'm, I think she knows this, but I'm, um, I'm happy to talk to her privately if she wants to, but if she's going to talk to me, then she needs to talk to me and not to him through me. Cause I'm not interested in being a middleman. Cause that's all that's been happening. And no, she took everything I said. She took everything he said in that text and said that I said it and I didn't, I didn't block her. I did. I was still following her when she unfollowed me. Um, I literally nothing was going on, and okay, but yeah, basically he texted her, and then she blew up at me, even though I didn't say any of that. So, and I already explained the thing about her calling me. I didn't have my phone. I didn't answer. My phone rings to my iPad. My iPad gets answered. I didn't hang up. So. That's all I'm going to say about that. I'm not going to hash things out on you now. So. If she has an actual question that's for me and not directed at somebody else who isn't me, then shoot me a text. Anyways. <laughs> this isn't drama now. <laughs> <laughs> it's you now, not drama now. That reminds me of that part in Stick It where she's like, it's not gymnastics. <laughs> that was okay. When I was like 10, that was my fucking slogan. It's not called gymnastics. Savage. I know. I was a savage 10 year old. Am I being honest? No, I'm intentionally lying to all of you. I have no reason to lie. I I'm, I'm, don't even want to talk about it. Like... It's not a, it shouldn't even be a public thing. I didn't make it public. If other people want to hash things out publicly, they can do that. But I don't, I'm not interested in doing that. So if people want to talk privately to me about their issue with me and not with my husband, then I'm happy to do that. But I'm not going to be a middleman. I'm not. I refuse to do that. I've been a middleman so many times in my life and I'm not doing it. It's not my job to do a he said, he said, she said game between two people. Ah. You said in yesterday's stream you don't unfollow to trick people. No, I'm not trying to trick people. I'm trying to decide if I want to keep them, my, keep them in my life or not. If you watch the stream, you would know that. And I wasn't planning on unfollowing her until I was literally just all my feed was swamped with her favoriting tweets talking about how my existence or Greg's existence is pointless and that I used her for views, which just isn't true. So I went to her page and she had unfollowed me, so I unfollowed her. I was not even planning on unfollowing until that happened. He said it was to sneak. I literally did not. But okay. It's really gross. Also, can I just say, it's really gross that uh, people are literally joining my Patreon to record my streams. Like, do you people not think that's a little fucked up and, like, gross? Thank you, Akeda, for 500 bars. Like, it is a private stream for a reason. And for people to, like, pay to, like, record my streams. Yuck. No, it's not what I said. Why? How is that sneaky? Like me keeping following somebody, what's what's sneaky about that? There's no, there's nothing, literally nothing sneaky about that at all. When I'm unfollowing or when I unfollow people on a whim, that means I'm mad about something petty. 
and I'm going to get over it most likely. When I don't unfollow somebody, it means it's serious and I'm waiting to see if I want to unfollow them or not. Like that's literally not fucking sneaky at all. There's nothing sneaky about that. So it makes no sense why I would even say that because I didn't say that. But it's nice to know that you watched a recorded stream and then you're trying to act like you are a supporter of me when you are literally watching people who steal my content. Okay. Anyways, I'm, uh, I'm done talking about this. Let's talk about somebody else. Not somebody else, something else. I don't want to talk about anyone. You admitted it, so how can it be? I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> I don't know why people want drama so bad. Like, I don't understand why, like, how it makes, like, them feel good to bring up drama and to get people riled up. Like, I just don't, I don't understand that. Like, why do you not want people to be happy and why do you not want to talk about stuff that's positive i don't understand that why does every drama thing have to be public i don't want my things to be public if i have a personal issue with somebody and i feel the need to talk to them about it i'm going to talk to them and not the internet i've learned my lesson there i don't i'm not interested in doing it why well, have a channel if you don't want to be in the public eye i'm happy to put things I choose to put in the public eye, but when I say I don't want to talk about something and people keep pestering me, you are not entitled to every little aspect of my life just because I run a YouTube channel. I'm sorry, but you know, I have personal things that I don't want to share and that doesn't make, not make you entitled to uh, know every little thing about my life and every relationship that I have because you subscribe to me on YouTube. Like it doesn't give you the, the right. I get to decide what I put out there, and I get to decide what I talk about and what I do not talk about. Like, I don't owe you guys anything. I don't owe you any explanation about anything in my life. You can speculate all you want, but I don't owe you that. If you don't like drama, why do you watch drama shows like Glee? <laughs> oh, okay, I'm not even gonna answer that. That can't be a serious question. <laughs> Greg puts all your stuff out there. Do you get mad at him? Yes, I do. I always tell him, do not involve me in this. I don't want to be involved. If you think I'm not being kind, that's on you. But I'm going to stick up for myself because you guys act like you're entitled to hear every little thing that I've already said I don't want to talk about. That I want to keep private and personal and I want to handle like an adult. If you think that that's unkind, well, I'm sorry, but that's how I feel. If you want me to be honest, then this is me being honest. That you don't unfollow for a reason. Yes, my reason being that I'm trying to decide if I want to keep somebody in my life or not. And before I block them, I don't want to have to go back and be like, oh, never mind, I changed my mind if it's something serious. And no, it's not being sneaky because I didn't say that. I don't know why I put quotes there, but I didn't say that. And I'm done talking about this. I don't owe you another explanation. If y'all have a problem with Greg, take it up with Greg. Not me. I'm not interested. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and follow us on Twitter to keep up to date on your favorite streamers. We'll argue later. Hi, the blog. The blog has graced us with their presence. Long time no see. The blog can smell drama from a mile away. I know, just heightened sensors. The blog doesn't like our chill streams. Yeah, what the heck's up with that? What the heck's up with that? Why aren't you here for the chill streams? I just pitched the little blog robot typing and it makes me super happy. It's funny because people think I hate the blog. Like, everybody thinks I like hate the blog and I don't. I have no problem with them. They've always been nice to me, so...